Alright guys, the games are coming thick and fast in the championship right now. We were treated to a full fixture list over midweek. We'll be discussing those games throughout today's video, but we are here to go ahead and predict the games we've got coming up over the weekend. As always, I want to get your guys' thoughts on these in the comments down below. Plenty of big matches coming up this weekend to get our teeth sunk into. As always, if you did go into enjoy, make sure to leave a like. 300 likes would be appreciated. If you're not already, make sure to go ahead and check out the TikTok as well. But without any further ado, let's jump into these matches. Starting now at Deep Del 4, Preston up against QPR. Had this fixture happen a couple weeks ago, I think that us North End fans would be significantly more confident coming into this sort of game than we are right now. I think that midweek was our worst performance of the season so far, and there have been a few bad ones sprinkled in there, but Middlesbrough completely did their homework on North End going into that midweek fixture, knew which areas of vulnerability to target, and as soon as they went 1-0 up, we just didn't lay a glove on them and didn't look like getting back into that game What? Whatsoever. This game against QPR is all of a sudden looking quite tricky, especially after they got their first win under Cifuentes in midweek as well. They've been showing gradual signs of improvement, but scoring goals has been a major problem for them all season. Well, he managed to rectify that in midweek by putting four goals past Stoke. Yes, they played a lot of that second half against 10 men. However, we've gradually seen QPR getting better as the weeks have gone on under C. Fuentes in terms of performance levels, and they finally got that result over the line to sort of show for that. Prior to that game in midweek for QPR, they'd only scored four goals in their last ten matches, and they managed to hit the back of the net four times in midweek alone. Preston, on the other hand, having some massive problems defensively. We've now conceded 24 goals in our last ten league matches, and some of our key performers are badly out of form right right now. I don't think that Freddie Woodman's covered himself in glory recently. Ben Whiteman, I don't think has been at it whatsoever this season. And we've also got quite a few key injury concerns coming into this one as well with Liam Miller out injured, Alan Brown not 100% fit, and it looks as if Osmaich will be missing as well. Generally speaking, it does have to be said, Ryan Lowe, Preston sides have had a decent record against those sides in the round, the bottom half of the table. It is these sorts of games where we tend to pick up most of our points, but we're not on good form right now. The way I'm seeing for this, I think that has to be a reaction from the dismal performance from North End in midweek. I think I'm siding for a draw. I think that Preston have to improve, but I'm not taking QPR lightly right now. Score prediction here, going to go for a one one between these two. Next then to the Hawthorns for West Brom up against Leicester and do you know what? This actually seems to be a decent time to be playing this Leicester side. It was an under-par performance from them in midweek. Seemed like they'd done enough to just about get over the line, but Sheffield Wednesday came back with that late equaliser. Means it's now just one win in Leicester's last four matches. So there is definitely a template there that sides have been using recently where you can get a little bit of something out of Enzo Maresca's side and they're going up against a West Brom side who are top of the form table right now. If you didn't see yesterday's video we did a bit of a deeper dive into West Brom this season so far and what a fantastic job Carlos Corbran has done in getting the maximum out of this baggy squad right now. West Brom along with Leicester it has to be said have been one of the best defensive units in the championship so far and so I'd fancy this game to be quite tight. There's definitely a template that sides have been using to get something against Leicester recently. I'd fancy Corbran to really do his homework on this fixture. And if we're going off the form book, I think I'm slightly favouring West Brom in this game. You know, score prediction, I'm going to go 1-0 to the Baggies. Why not? Next then we head to St Andrews for Birmingham up against Rotherham. Things aren't improving for the Millers on the road. It was another heavy defeat for them in midweek 4-1 against Hull. And that competitive edge that they always seem to have at home just hasn't been present with them in their away matches so far this season. And now means they've picked up just one point in their nine away matches this season, conceding 25 goals and scoring just four goals in the process. Reading off those stats, I think that most people will probably be fancying Birmingham in this game. While Blues have been pretty inconsistent themselves on the road this season, at home, generally speaking, they have been decent value for money, only losing one game at St Andrews so far this season. As of recording, Rotherham's still looking for that next permanent manager, and until that's resolved, I'm not sure. I can see their fortunes on the road improving. Score prediction in this game, going to go 2-0 Birmingham. 
After that, we go to Hull up against Watford. Both sides winning in midweek. Hull with a dominant performance against Rotherham. Some great interchange in play. And we have to talk about Jaden Villagin. Arguably the best player in the championship right now going off the form book. He's got 11 goal contributions in his last 10 matches. A brace in midweek, including that outrageous back heel goal. And yeah, everything he's touching at the moment is turning to gold. Now, I wouldn't put it past him making the difference in this sort of match. Now, Watford were involved involved in a crazy game of their own, a five goal thriller, found themselves two goals down against Norwich fairly early on, but a brilliant strike from Kone to get them back into that game, and then they built the momentum from that point onwards. Lovely finish and footwork from Aspria uh, to go ahead and get the winner in the second half as well. He feels like the player to watch out for in that Watford squad right now. What I would say about Watford is while their overall form has been pretty good of late, I believe they're yet to beat a side who's currently in the top half of the table. So the vast majority of their decent results this season have come against sides who are currently below them. For that sort of reasoning and how impressed I was with Hull in midweek, how many chances they created, going to back Hull for a 2-1 home victory in this game. But I do fancy both sides to get on the score sheet. Next up, we head to Portman Road for Ipswich up against Coventry. Brilliant result for Ipswich and Coventry in midweek. And this sets up an interesting clash this weekend. Certainly seen a lot of improvements from Cov recently since they've switched to that back four. Three consecutive clean sheets cannot be underestimated. It's now back-to-back -back wins in the championship as well. A little bit of controversy over their winner against Plymouth, whether or not that ball went out of play before it was pulled back for Hadji Wright, but a big three points nonetheless. But this will be a real test on the road. While there have been a few chinks in Ipswich's armour recently on the road, at Portman road they've been absolutely relentless the amount of goals they're scoring at the moment teams that have visited this season just haven't been able to live with it and the consistency they've shown at home this season is one of the main factors why they are second in the championship right now nine home games eight wins for Ipswich a bunch of goals scored in that time while we have seen some improvements from Coventry recently I think it's very hard to overlook Ipswich and their relentless home form at the moment so score prediction in this game Gonna go 3 1 Ipswich. They're just so clinical at home. Leeds against Middlesbrough has the potential to be quite a fun matchup. I obviously got to see Middlesbrough over a full 90 minutes in midweek. Very good against Preston, to be honest. They got to take their foot off the gas in the second half. They were that good in the first half. They already had the game won after the first 45 minutes or so. But for as bad as Preston were, I thought that Middlesbrough were absolutely fantastic in that game. 4 0 winners and deserving of the three points. Isaiah Jones, probably the best player on the pitch in that game and also thinking these real crunch matches between two top sides Middlesbrough having that extra day recovery always plays into my thinking as well but Leeds obviously did well in midweek to recover from that early setback of going behind early on against Swansea can't stop watching that second goal over and over again from Rutter absolute gem of a first touch to take it down and a terrific finish but this game I expect both sides to go punch for punch I think that Carrick up against Farker will be a fun tactical battle and for a score prediction I actually think I'm sitting on the fence for this one Middlesbrough have done fairly well against the other promotion chasers so far this season thinking to earlier in the season got good results against Leicester and Southampton with the extra day recovery but Leeds having the home advantage I think I'm sitting on the fence for this one gonna go for a 1-1 draw between these two Next up, we go to Plymouth up against Stoke. Both sides looking to bounce back from defeats in midweek. Plymouth still looking for that first result on the road. Bit of a controversial one with Coventry's winner. Very tight call whether or not that ball went out of play for the assist. Still looking for their first win on the road. Having said that, their home form's been very consistent so far. And I think I'm fancying their chances against this Stoke side, who's been a little bit all over the place after this international break. Now, Stoke would have been ruining a few key refereeing decisions going against them in that QPR match but it's now seven goals they've conceded in their last two matches and they're now going up against the Plymouth side who have been pretty prolific when playing at home 22 goals Plymouth have scored in nine home matches so far this season while Stoke seem to be a little bit down and out on their look right now I think I fancy Plymouth as the more likely outfit to bounce back in this game score prediction for me I'm going to go 3-1 Plymouth in that game and fancy them for a few goals next then to the den and for Mill Wall up against Sunderland and two sides who could really do with a result in this one. Not the best of midweeks for either side. Millwall having a really tough evening against Ipswich and it feels like maybe that 
opening performance for Edwards at Millwall against Sheffield Wednesday was a bit of a false storm with how the last two matches have gone. Uh, taking a close look at Millwall's home form this season as well, and surely Sunderland should fancy themselves to get a couple goals in this one. Now, Sunderland themselves, defensively, they've had some real issues lately. Just one clean sheet now in their last eight matches. Huddersfield were able to take advantage of them on a few occasions in that game in midweek. With both sides being a bit leaky at the back recently, I'd probably expect both teams to get on the score sheet here. I do think that Sunderland maybe have that bit more firepower in their ranks and expecting a reaction from midweek. I think I'm slightly edging towards Sunderland in this one as I'm still not convinced by Millwall when they played at the Den this season. Score prediction in this game, going to go 2-1 Sunderland but not hugely confident in that. Next then to Hillsborough for Sheffield Wednesday up against Blackburn. And you know what? Fair play to Sheffield Wednesday. Not many people gave them much of a chance of getting anything against Leicester in midweek, but they managed to salvage a point with that late equaliser. And you know what? On another day, if they were a little bit more clinical, they could have won that game with some of the chances they had in the first half especially. That's ultimately what's really let Wednesday down under Danny Roll so far. I don't think you can accuse that squad lately of lacking work rate or anything like that. It's really just just been the final product that just hasn't been good enough they did manage to get that goal over the line against Leicester but I do fancy this game to be quite tough for them again against Blackburn it was a good win for Blackburn in midweek bit of a scare late on with Birmingham coming back into it but they managed to kill the game off eventually Sammy Smalik just can't stop scoring right now and I think I'd back him to get a couple in this game as well score prediction I am going to go 2-0 Blackburn in this fixture next then to Southampton up against Cardiff nothing stopping Southampton Hampton right now is another win for them in midweek. I believe their first home clean sheet of the season as well. Gavin Bazzuni with a terrific save in the second half. I know I gave him a bit of stick um, in those early months of the season but proving his worth as of late and to be honest I think I'm slightly edging Southampton in this fixture as well. Cardiff not quite been at their firing best recently. It was a tight game they had in midweek. Ultimately Sarmiento the difference between them and West Brom. Just one win in Cardiff Cardiff's last four matches and even in that win against Preston I didn't feel like Cardiff were completely at their best in that game either obviously playing a lot of it um, against the 10 men of Preston in that second half score prediction for this game I think it's hard to overlook Southampton on the unbeaten run right now and I think with a little bit more quality throughout that side as well score prediction for me I'm going to go 2-1 to the Saints in this game and back them to continue that unbeaten run after that for Swansea up against Huddersfield, a great win for Huddersfield in midweek and especially with QPR also winning. We spoke about it a couple of videos ago, how important it was going to be for Huddersfield over this festive period to at least match the results of QPR, keep that distance between them and the bottom three and then maybe they can go about strengthening that squad and giving Darren Moore a few more options in the January transfer window to then go ahead and start moving clear. But yeah, brilliant result away at Sunderland and they'll need a similar sort of game plan and approach for this one against Swansea. Swansea not in form right now. It's just one win in their last seven matches. It was a good start against Leeds, but ultimately things caved in pretty quickly. Seemed like a bit of a muddled game plan where no one in that Swansea squad really quite knew what they were doing on the ball. Listen, going away to Ellen Road was always going to be tough, and this is and these are, sorry, the sort of games where Duff will ultimately be judged, I think. I don't have a great deal in either side killing this game off, so I've got a feeling that it's going to be quite tight, and I think I'm sitting on the fence for it. Score prediction, I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one between these two. Finishing the weekend off with Bristol City up against Norwich, and I think Bristol City have to be fancying their chances in this one. Norwich absolutely capitulating in midweek against Watford. We said it going into that game that even in the matches that Norwich had won recently, they they hadn't done so in convincing fashion and ultimately even when Watford found themselves two goals down they still found a way back into that game and ultimately ended up winning it with uh, three goals for the emphatic comeback. David Wagner looks like a bit of a defeated man at this point in time and I think that Bristol City have to capitalise on all of those factors going against Norwich right now. For Bristol City, been a little bit up and down um, in Manning's opening matches. Obviously it was a defeat for them in midweek albeit against a very good Southampton side and it was just the one goal deficit in the end. Maybe lacking that little bit of attacking quality, but... 
I fancy them for a few goals in this game against the Norwich side who's conceded around two goals per game on average so far this season. Score prediction for me, I'm going to go 2-1 Bristol City here. But guys, there we have it. That will now wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you did go on to enjoy, make sure to leave a like and do get your score predictions in the comments down below. Plenty of debates to be had. Other than that though, guys, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you all in the next one.